Hello from base camp at the Big House, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom. This is day one of our trek, and we will discuss the guidelines for our trek. As I mentioned on our first episode on day zero, I will strive to be transparent and authentic in all of our daily podcasting journals. I welcome you into our camp and our trek, and thank you for joining us today. I will not extensively edit these episodes, just for the sake of trying to have them sound perfect, any more than if I were sitting around base camp or on our trek, would I be able to edit everything that I said. This is life. I want to live it before you as if we were literally on this trek together, and through the magic of technology, we are virtually sitting next to each other. Since I'll be recording from our home studios in either the Big House in Marietta, Ohio, or from Home 2, which is located south of Charlotte, North Carolina, you may hear external sounds from the outdoors, such as birds singing or other noises. Instead of being distracting, it'll add to the authenticity of our life. I may not always present a perfect podcast or journal, but I will provide you valuable content in an excellent manner. If you have not taken the opportunity to listen to Day Zero or read the corresponding journal, I would encourage you to do so. Today's journal can be found at wisdom-trek.com forward slash day one. That's wisdom-trek.com forward slash day one. And also check out about Wisdom Trek and learn more about the podcast and me personally. As with any journey in life, it is best if we have a destination in mind before we begin. It is difficult or impossible to measure progress and success if we don't know what our destination is. Once we determine our destination, then we should decide the best path to take to reach it. It is best if we remain on the trails that have been forged before us by others, if at all possible. Life will take us through many hardships and dangers. At times, it will seem like no one has ever traversed this path that we are taking. But there are few, if any, circumstances in life that others have not already traveled. In fact, King Solomon, the wisest person who ever lived, in the latter years of his life wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, in chapter 1, verse 9, he declares, History merely repeats itself. It has all been done before. Nothing under the sun is truly new. So we can take comfort in the fact that others have been on this same path before us. So what is our destination for Wisdom Trek? Well, as we trek together, our purpose is to create a legacy of wisdom, that we will seek out discernment and insights, and that we will boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. And in doing so, we will set up the framework in our lives that will truly allow us to live long and prosper. I believe that most of us would desire to live long and prosper. Prospering, though, will take many different forms. It could be financial, but it does not need to be our primary way of prospering. Becoming wise and creating a living legacy by making a positive impact on the world around us will allow us to truly prosper. The primary purpose for us pursuing and obtaining financial prosperity is to allow us to have an impact that is even greater. We need to be a river, not a reservoir, with our financial gain, allowing financial prosperity to flow through us to others instead of hoarding it for ourselves will help us to gain the wisdom we need. In addition to setting a destination, our best hope of arriving safely is to have a suitable navigation tools. We will need to follow a GPS, a map, a compass, or other tools that will allow us to be reasonably sure that we are on the right path. These tools are important, but are only useful if we follow them. I am sure each of us has experienced, even with the best GPS and map, that sometimes we end up on the wrong road, and so it is with the trails of life. We may find ourselves in places or in situations that we never expected, either through our own choices or the choices of others. While we may get off the planned trails, with the right tools, we can still head toward our destination. While my primary map in life and on this wisdom trek has been the Bible, I have also studied and followed many others who have traveled before me. Some of my virtual mentors who have reached their destination in this life have been Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, and Earl Nightingale. Using these combined resources, when I have found myself on an unexpected trail in life, which has happened to me many times, I am able to head in the correct direction because my destination remains the same. There have been many steep uphill climbs and some dark valleys, but as I continue on my trek, I do have the strength to continue on. What are the basic guidelines that we should follow? I have determined there are four essential guidelines. Number one, as much as possible, stay on the trail. Don't be looking for shortcuts in life. There are no shortcuts that are worth taking. Be persistent and consistent. Number two, never trek alone. Find others that have gone through the trails before you. Allow them to help you and learn from them. And as you join me on our wisdom trek, allow me to be one of those guides. 
I may have not reached my destination yet, since I am still alive, but I have studied the map for years, and have studied the journals of those individuals who have made this trek successfully and have a proven plan on how to assist. In one point of thought that I might interject here, to grow wise, make sure you surround yourself with wise people. Number three, keep moving forward, but take time to enjoy the scenery. If we have our head down, looking at the trail all the time, we will miss the best part of the trek. It is not the destination that we will enjoy as much as the journey itself. No matter how difficult this trek is, take time to enjoy each day. And number four, establish positive habits that you practice each day. Every day we will run into obstacles on this trail of life. Figuratively, a tree may have fallen, blocking the path. A stream may have washed out the path, or boulders may have cascaded down into our way. In each circumstance, we will need to determine whether we will climb over, under, or go around. Regardless of the path that we need to take to get beyond this obstacle, if we have certain positive habits ingrained in the fabrics of our life, then we will know how to make the decisions that are correct for us. This is called our integrity. Decisions that are right, just, and fair for ourselves and those that we impact. I have created the seven habits of a successful life that you can weave into the fabric of your life. If you will apply these habits each day so that they become second nature, then when obstacles do block your way, it'll be easier to successfully get beyond the obstruction and back on the trail to your destination. These habits will impact eternity. Number one, live abundantly or fully. Two, love unconditionally. Three, listen intentionally. Four, learn continuously. Five, lend to others generously. Six, lead with integrity. And seven, leave a living legacy each day. If you would like a full-colored PDF of these seven habits, please visit wisdom-trek.com forward slash day one and press the blue button. So as we end our Wisdom Trek journey for today, apply these seven habits to your life each day. Review them each morning upon rising and again before going to bed. If you follow this routine for at least 30 days, you will see a change in your life that will begin the trek of creating a living legacy. I encourage you also to leave a discussion topic, comment, suggestions, or questions in the comment form on wisdom-trek.com forward slash day one, or email me at guthrie at venturecg.com. That's guthrie, G-U-T-H-R-I-E, at venturecg.com. I'll promptly respond to you. I'd be honored if you would take the time also to visit iTunes or some other site that you may be downloading Wisdom Track from and subscribe so that it will be delivered to you automatically each day. And please leave us a rating for each episode. This is so important. And spread the word to everyone that you know to join us on our Wisdom Track. And I thank you for that. And as we take this trek together, let us always remember to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom. See you tomorrow as we begin to discover the tools required for a successful wisdom trek.